All right, so now that the seats are out, you guys can basically see what holds it to the floor. So these brackets right here, it bolts to the seat and then these go to the stock factory mounting locations. So basically it's still mounted to the floor. It just kind of spread out a little bit throughout this bar. So today we're gonna take this bar off, uh, paint this up because it's bare steel, and we are going to deep clean the seats. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you guys can see today, got a little project going on. It's my days off and oh, I'm working on the car. As you guys can see, put a little tack coat on the brackets and we're getting this whole process moving along. And you guys can tell, man, the seats have seen better days. They're not too bad, but you know, they're definitely like some little stains and stuff that can be cleaned up on them and you, it's not the camera's not really picking it up but they're uh more dirty than my liking yeah there you go uh so today we're gonna be putting some of this on here this is just some trim restore and we're gonna be putting it on here on here because you guys can see it's kind of blue tinted and all around the plastic just to clean up the plastic a little bit and this is what we're going to be using to clean up the uh, seats themselves carpet and mat cleaner and we have this little thing my girl bought it's like uh shoots water out of the nozzle and it vacuums at the same time so that's what we're going to be using and a good old shop vac so uh we're going to go ahead and start vacuuming them and i'll show you guys exactly how they look guys so just using this little nylon brush and brushing it and uh, vacuuming it changed it a lot but we're still gonna hit it with the carpet cleaner I don't know if you guys can tell but look how much dust is in between them bristles this brush was brand new when I first started working and this thing is just full of dust so we're gonna start spraying this carpet cleaner on there and foaming it up and working it in with the brush better if I just clean the brush off yeah just like that cover it up yeah these seats are gonna look good dude and then we just work it in get to work
Guys, I can't believe how good these turned out. I literally put on gloves so I don't make them dirty again. But they turned out freaking really nice. Uh, there was little white stains all right here. Those are all completely gone. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see. Is this the passenger seat? Yeah. This is the passenger seat. There's a little, little red stain right here. But before it was literally like this big. So, I mean, it's very small. It's kind of playing tricks on my eyes now. That's gone. All the little white dried up marks. That's gone. It was kind of catching your nail before. Uh, it's gone now. And the seats, they look just immaculate, dude. And they smell so good. Uh, they're still kind of faded a little bit. I put some of that trim restore out in there and it helped it out a lot. So once it dries up, soaks into the plastic, I might just put another little coat on it. Uh, it's kind of ashy, but yeah, man, they turned out freaking awesome. And if you guys don't believe me on just how much the seeds got cleaned and how good they smell, just look at this. This thing was clean before. This is nasty, dude. This is everything that little cleaner sucked out. So this is definitely something that you guys can do at home. Uh, like I said, it's all we used and I still have a lot of it left. Uh, it smells, it smells freaking good, dude. And I think it's the Oxy powered, Oxy clean. Smells super good. And this little machine right here, it was like 20, 30 bucks on Amazon. Definitely recommend it if you guys are going to be cleaning y'all's own seats. Uh, they look freaking awesome. I was going to let them sit out in the sun for a little bit and uh, let them dry up because they're a little bit wet, but nothing too crazy. And I got the brackets all painted up. They look good. They're pretty much dry to the touch, but I'm going to wait a little bit before I start ramming bolts through them and stuff like that. So, yeah. They look freaking awesome. I'll update you guys once I put them back in the car. guys as y'all can tell I'm really really excited and happy with how the seats came out uh, now we're gonna swap the oil and my wideband went out a couple videos ago like I showed you guys uh, so we're gonna change that out because we might have some races on the way and I want to make sure my AEMs on point and I want to make sure I change the oil because this car has came to the point where I don't even drive this car 3,000 miles um, a year anymore so it's already been a year since I changed the oil and it's kind of old so I just want to go ahead and swap it out and that's kind of how I'll be treating this car from now on we go run it at the drag strip I take it back I'll swap the oil again and uh, you know just keep this motor healthy for whoever's gonna buy it whenever we go to coyote swap because this two valve is very healthy and uh, doesn't make no noise or anything like that so I want to keep the motor as in pristine condition as I can that way that Next car this motor goes in, you know, the owner will be happy with it. So let's go ahead and swap the oil. Alright guys, new wide bands in. Full of oil. See if our wide band works. And let's see if the motor sounds good after this oil change. again. 
again. So whenever they stop working, uh, it just dashes across like if it's running stupid lane. So running good. Car sounds good, like I said. Motor sounds awesome. But if you guys are interested in this two valve, I'm pretty much gonna sell it entire motor with the typhoon intake and everything so mpi bottom end pi heads top cams the heads have everything new in them new followers new valve seals uh had a valve job done in them the cams are new new uh, beehive valve springs by comp uh it's just the mpi bottom end and you know you guys remember car was low mileage when I got it. It only has 119,000 miles on it now. So, uh, if you guys are interested in this motor, get at me now before I pull it out because once I pull it out, I'm going to be trying to get that thing going. I already have my motor, my 5.0 motor, but, you know, it'd be nice to have the funds already. Uh, pull the motor out, sell it instantly, and then I'll be able to buy my control pack and everything else like that. So, yeah. Motor sounds good. Wide band's working. So I want to send a big shout out to Cody again. Uh, helping me out getting this thing out to me ASAP uh, thank you to all you guys you know that's been showing support on the videos and commenting down below and everything like that it, I greatly appreciate it and uh, you know it uh, makes me want to keep on making these videos guys so just know I appreciate every single one of y'all that comment uh, go ahead and drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it seats came out freaking awesome probably messing them up because I was just laying on my back uh, they came out freaking awesome so if you guys enjoyed this one, drop a like for your boy. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And we'll see you guys on the next video, man. It's your boy, 4.6 Chris. Peace out, man. Oh, yeah. Girl, in my dreams, I said I know it. In my dreams, I said I know it. In my dreams, I said I know that I can. So, baby, please don't let me.